I was definitely jet lagged yesterday. Um, so now that I'm feeling better, it's like slowly starting to hit me. I think it's like coming in, sh in chunks. But I'm on my way to church and the walk is like an hour, more than an hour. But I decided to walk because why not? And I don't have um, like the transit card yet. So why not walk? And on my way, I think I'm going to see the Eiffel Tower like much closer. So that's going to be very exciting. But here it already feels kind of like fall. Like Jinja. So pretty. There's so many trees, so much green. Oh, I love it. Right off the bat, in my last 24 hours in Paris, there's already been a couple of things I noticed. A, everyone is so chill, which I love. I haven't heard maybe like one or two honks, but compared to Toronto traffic and noise, nothing. And number two, the road signs are on the walls, which makes it a little hard to navigate. Um, my friend and I, we almost got lost. Oh, we technically did get lost. Yeah. But I'm excited to see what else I'll be learning. I don't, I don't know if I'll necessarily get a culture shock. I watch so many videos, I feel like I'm prepared for anything. Also, I'm starting to sweat a bit, so I don't know if walking to church was a good idea, but we'll see. La chambre si noire que mes deux petits yeux n'arrivent pas à croire. Eiffel Tower. I don't know if I can see it from the top, but I can Arriving to the Saint Louis Island. Alors l'île Saint Louis au départ, c'était deux îles séparées l'une de l'autre. Il y avait d'un côté. understood now that the next monument on the cruise will be the Eiffel Tower. that you're missing out on this experience. The sandwich? Oh. Is it not good? It's so good. Oh. It, like it's just lettuce and cheese. We'll definitely have to go back. It's so good. shoot this um, I'm talking quiet because I think it echoes 
and oh my god she this is so nice she's so nice she's so cute she's so french like a french woman i feel like that's what she would be like and i was trying to answer as much or no i was i was talking all in french um but i was answering some of the questions wrong <laughs> because i can talk but i can't understand the question like i don't know what she's saying and at one point she asked like are you gonna travel to other countries but i don't understand so i said no and she's like oh like mm. and then I was, I was like oh like really but then at that point i understood so it was fine but i think i'm gonna stay in the same level so that's good and i also want to stay in the same level because my roommate and um like other two friends from waterloo are in that level so i want to stay with them so i don't go like by myself that's good and then later we have a picnic but when they were showing like pictures or like at the PowerPoint during orientation, they're like, oh my god, we're gonna have a picnic. But there was a kid, like a stock photo of people doing like potato sackers, and then everyone <laughs> like freaking out, thinking, oh my god, are we, are we gonna do potato sack races? And they said they're gonna give us wine, and I think a lot of wine because the director even said, like, don't come the next day hungover, or you can, whatever. But, and the alcohol here is the alcohol levels are really strong so then i'm like are we gonna do potato sack races like tipsy like what <laughs> it's gonna be interesting so we'll have to see later but she's so nice because she gave us a recommendation for because she asked if we have croissant yet and i was like no um like i've been here for like katsushu me i didn't have a croissant yet and she gave a recommendation so we're gonna go eat the croissants and Go get our Navigo or our transit car so we can like go around places and then we'll have our picnic later and we'll finally try some French wine. So exciting! I have no idea what this is. Bread. Bread. Let's try. I do already ate it. Oh! Oh! Mm. Should I just say it in English? Yeah, say... Say 10 tickets booklet. Oh. Okay. That's so interesting. Were you smiling at I did. I was saying, I'm like, you have to I'm gonna take a nap before the picnic because I know I'm gonna be tired um, but something that's funny is I wasn't sure because I heard that if you start speaking French um, the French people will obviously know that you're a tourist because you don't have the French accent but then I've been trying to practice my French so I've been ordering stuff in French and all the people that I've that I've talked to have responded in French to me so I was kind of confused but then uh, when we went to get lunch today apparently my roommate went up to the cashier and said bonjour and then the lady or the girl was like speak English so I think the people <laughs> have just been really nice which even goes against the stereotype of oh French people are so mean but everyone's been nice that I've met so far so yay no, there's a fly! <laughs> I reacted. Rosie. Huh? I 
Jeffrey, yeah. Sarah. Sam. We have to win. There's no way. If we don't win, the system's rigged. No, no. Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay, another quick washroom recap. <laughs> the picnic was so fun. So, I met some really cool people and we did, okay, we did do potato sack races and three legged races and like the egg race. And at first, I was like, oh my god, what the heck? But it was actually so much fun and <laughs> we got first place. For um, like the monument where we reenacted Mary Marie Antoinette's um, <laughs> beheading, um, but it was so much fun. I think it was my first time doing a potato sack race too, which is interesting. But yeah, oh yeah, um, I'm a little sweaty. But we're at a bar now, and the bars here, or I don't know, but this one is more like a restaurant, so it's so nice. Um, but yeah, I wanted to record this. Just in case I got a little tipsy later, but yeah, I'm having I'm having fun. This is fun. Everything is so intricate and so exquisite and it's so cool because with the lighting you can see how the light hits like the oil because a lot of these are oil paintings it's so cool 
it's just, um, nothing compared to Toronto Museums. There's so much to take in. I definitely want to come back and take my time. I can't wait to go to all the other museums. <laughs> it's so crazy that this was a family. Wow. Amazing. Wow. This is section and it's just it's so sad that his paintings weren't appreciated when he was alive these are they're so beautiful because I don't think I know a lot of Van Gogh paintings other than his really famous ones and they're amazing they're amazing I just I, I can't even describe it like look and he has another portrait like I think he looks better in this portrait but this one's not that famous. Or how, how beautiful this one is. Absolutely amazing. These look so real. A meeting? <laughs> what are they discussing? We're having a meeting on the meeting. Yeah, exactly. Yay. Captain Hug. It was so funny. She was, she was like, "Oh, you know, this is for kids, right?" I was like, "Oh yeah." We just want to try. Yeah, French. Exactly. We're like, "Yeah, we're here to practice our French." But the kids are a lot younger than I thought they'd be. I thought they'd be really easy to understand. Yeah, if I don't understand this, I don't think I could say I'm even like A1, A2. <laughs> So excited. There's gonna be magic, puppets. cutest thing I've ever witnessed in my life it was very low budget but it was so cute the French children were like very interactive um, and they just sound so cute it's not even like way they're like way way bon it was so cute it was my heart was melting um, and then we went to Shakespeare and Co which was so nice and I've been having such like an arts filled day went to the museum so that was like visual arts and the play which was also so nice performing arts and then we went to shakespeare and co where i got a couple of books and postcards the literary art so i feel so full and i feel like i belong which is nice because back home everything is so stem <laughs> Okay. 
Okay. Yeah. So his, his whole thing was called the method of doubt. So the step. It's finally Friday, which means it's almost been exactly one week since I've arrived in Paris, and I finally feel like I'm meeting and like socializing with a bunch of people, which is interesting because I thought I would be doing that during orientation, but orientation was because the first three days were orientation and that was mostly um, information sessions um, but since we started doing more things like yesterday we went to the museum today we did a scavenger hunt so everyone's been branching out a bit and it's nice because i'm finally like talking to people and it's so it's so interesting literally i was saying i haven't had any culture shock since coming to paris if anything culture shocks meeting people from America which is so interesting because it's just I didn't realize how different Canada and the US was also my arts day was really nice yesterday Shakespeare and Co was absolutely beautiful I see why it's so famous I literally walked in and I don't know I think it was definitely a combination of the wood on the walls but also you just walk in and smell the books it was something that you can't smell at like a big bookstore back home and so it was so nice. I definitely want to go back there too um, and I definitely don't think I'm gonna forget how it felt in there. I see why people are so fond of it. So excited. So oh, I didn't expect these kinds of chairs. I thought it was gonna be like church chairs. Whoa.